Plenty of characters from The Simpsons have gone through radical transformations, turning from simple jokes to genuine tragic figures. And one of the most uniquely fleshed out character developments in the series is heinous half-pint Nelson Muntz. And this bully has evolved from being Bart's first and main antagonist to his close, close friend. And along the way, the character reveals a shockingly humane side that gave him some of the show's best executed character growth. In this video today, I'll be going through the evolution of Bart and Nelson's relationship and explore how and when they went from foes to friends. Why are you hugging yourself? Why are you hugging yourself? But first, a huge thank you to Raid for sponsoring this video. If you don't know already, Raid is the free-to-play epic fancy game. The newest addition to Raid is Legendary Champion from High Elves Faction Deliana. This badass is one of the strongest support champions in the entire game, and you can get your hands on the Deliana just by logging in. All you have to do is log in and play Raid for 7 days between now and the 28th of July and you'll get the Daliana absolutely free. And that's it. Also, just enter the promo code MYDALIANA to get 50 XP brews to instantly get your legendary hero Deliana to max level 50, as well as a ton of silver. Raid is constantly updating the game and this month they've added awesome new skins for the Queen of the Oversized Hammer, Tranda Gil Mallet who looks absolutely awesome. Raid is giving away tons more free goodies worth $30. We're talking free Epic Champion Tyrell, 200k silver, one energy refill and one XP boost and one ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in game. All this treasure will be waiting for you right here when you log in. These rewards will only be available for the next 30 days and only for new players. It's totally free to download, so what are you waiting for? Nelson's debut was in Season 1's Bart the General, and from the get-go, he was the show's first bully. Nelson was established as the biggest threat in Springfield Elementary, and for Springfield for that matter, especially when he's shown to repeatedly beat up Bart for getting on his bad side one time. And so the confrontation ultimately brings together the other students Nelson bullies to form a single army at Bart's command, all in order to defeat Nelson the Giant. This early on in the show, Nelson, like many other supporting characters filling out the population of Springfield, was a very one-dimensional one. There wasn't much to his character, meaning he just served as a general antagonist or background character in any given school scene. His casual jerky nature became his defining characteristic. Nelson was simply just a bad kid. Dang, I was aiming for his head. And it was during this period he developed his habit of laughing at everyone's misfortune and became one of the show's most prominent gag characters. <laughs> it was a simple formula. Something unfortunate happens to a character, Nelson shows up, laughs at them, and then the story moves on. Way to go, man! <laughs> During this period, it was rare for episodes to feature him more overtly, but one of the few exceptions was in Season 3 Saturdays of Thunder, where Nelson plays a hugely antagonistic role in the surprisingly serious stock car race. Help! Help! What was that? You didn't hear nothing! He started the show with two sidekicks known as the Weasels, but they quickly dissolved into the background only to return for a throwaway gag in the 25th season. Hey, my old Weasels! How's Shelbyville Elementary? Not bad, not bad. But Muntz wasn't lonely for long as the only bully in the playground, shortly joined by Jimbo, Kearney and Dolph, making their debuts in the show's first season. These three were more used as genuine threats to the other kids in Springfield, and they treated Bart with a teen-like dislike. So while Nelson remained a destructive kid, the other three became more overt delinquent characters, targeting plenty of other people around town to an almost frightening degree. And as we'll see as the seasons progress, this increasingly contrasted against the more banal and childish bullying from Nelson. I think he broke his leg. I said, ha ha. 
Therefore, this gave the creatives the opportunity to play with Nelson, who remained a bully but hinted at something of a softer side. He revealed deep knowledge of natural sweets like huckleberries. Now, if the berries are too tart, I just dust them with confectioner sugar. Skills in homemaking and home economics, and revealed a real soft spot for Andy Williams too. I didn't think he was gonna do Moon River, but then BAM! Sick and encore! These moments were mostly used for laughs to contrast against his typical brutish nature. Whereas Nelson had before begun life as an antagonist to Bart, he quickly became a recurring friend. So whenever Bart needed someone to hang out with that was a millhouse, Nelson came a-knocking. As the show got closer to its teen years, it increasingly showed Nelson actually hanging out with Bart, albeit as a relatively one-note bad influence, pushing him into more criminal activities, but still, it also increasingly showcased his potential to become an ally or friend. As the teen years elevated Bart's prank to a truly ambitious scope, and Jimbo, Kearney and Dolph were further cemented as both a specific trio and more genuinely threatening, Nelson increasingly found himself showcasing a more emotional side. But that's not to say he fully lost his intimidating edge completely. He's gone now, but you gotta admire his spirit! But what cemented the idea of Bart and Nelson being friends was a season 18 episode that completely changed their dynamic forever. Bart and Nelson truly bonded in the Haw Hod couple, which saw Bart make an impression on the bully after he not only showed up to his birthday party, but actually opens up honestly to him. The pair spend the episode more or less being the best of friends, at least according to Nelson. Where are you going? I saved you a seat, best friend! The two became as thick as thieves, with Nelson even gifting Bart his very own torn jacket. But Nelson's aggressive and unpredictable nature eventually pushed Bart away. Despite this, however, the episode ended with Bart forming a very real close bond to Nelson, and even kept his jacket in his closet. <laughs> I touched your heart! Nelson would continue to be friends with Bart, with the two pulling pranks together in season 19's The Departed. In season 25, it's revealed that Nelson wears his mum's hand-me-down panties, causing the other kids to tease him, but Bart steps in to defend Nelson, confessing that he too wears his parents' underpants. From now on, you and I are as tight as whiteies. As well as this, there are plenty of other cute moments between Bart and Nelson, like the time when Bart wrote Nelson a Valentine's Day card. Simpson, you just touched my heart's butt! As the series progressed, Bart and Nelson's friendship became consistent enough to even carry on over into future episodes. What's interesting is, is that the same can't be said for Bart and Milhouse. Moreover, these future episodes serve as a good indicator of who Nelson was in the show at the point of when it was produced. By season 16's future drama, Nelson had grown enough to be portrayed as Bart's friend, albeit a deadbeat one who abandons his children like his dad did to him, and by episodes like season 27's Barthood, Nelson was a more well-rounded character by this point, and ultimately a more fulfilled one. It's a far cry from the character who once went to literal war with Bar Simpson, growing into being one of his most consistent friends. All the while never completely losing that part of him who will always be our neighbourhood bully with a rather large and ever-expanding heart. And so, that comes to the end of the video. What's your favourite Nelson moment, and when do you think the shift really changed? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.